Microsoft Defender issued an alert. Google Chrome was a virus. Microsoft Edge was a virus. Discord was a virus. All these Electron apps. It has been fixed. It didn't last for too long. But it was very funny to find out that you have a virus on your machine because you have Chrome. G'day team, Adam Kogan here uh, for the .NET user group. Let's move on to the SSW Tech News. And the first news and the biggest news is .NET 7. Release Candidate 1 is out and we're all very excited about this RC1. What is the biggest news? Well, the, the biggest news usually uh, these days is all about MAUI. Now, MAUI is the uh, replacement of Xamarin and it's done uh, in a different, better way. And uh, you can see that uh, it's the solution to unify Android, iOS, Mac OS, and the Windows API into one solution. Um, and let's, let's uh, have a look. There's a few other things in there, but I just want to focus on this because this only came out a couple of hours ago. Uh, they go through what specifically about MAUI is in RC1. Now, there's been a lot of blog posts already about this, but uh, this is for running uh, for the uh, foundational SDKs for Android, iOS, Mac, Catalyst, and Mac OS. And uh, if you have a look down here, you'll see that they've included maps now. So we now have a package that we can add, uh, microsoft.maui.controls.maps. Okay, so that is a new get package, and that throws in uh, the map experience so that over here, you can see this is Android using Google Maps. Over here on the right, you can see that that is uh, Apple. That's an iOS uh, device with Apple Maps here. And this is Mac OS here as well using Apple Maps. Now, uh, you might say, where's Windows? Uh, Windows is using a web view and they are using Bing Maps in that web view. Okay, and hopefully, they will give us similar experience as well on Windows. Now, there's a whole other bunch of desktop improvements. Uh, here's our uh, right-click context menus. Uh, here's our tool tips, gestures. It goes on and on and on. Okay, so lots of cool stuff there. Now, the biggest thing and the reason everybody is talking about .NET, .NET 7 is super fast, and I mean blazingly fast. There's uh, a lot of talk about uh, this is going to be essential to, to run just to get that performance out of it. So .NET is really fast. 1,000 performance impacting PRs went into the runtime and core libraries of this release. Never mind all the improvements in ASP.NET Core and Windows Forms any framework can be on. It's the fastest .NET ever. If your manager asks you why your project should upgrade to .NET 7, you can say, in addition to all the new function functionality, .NET 7 is super fast. And you know, you can, this is a massive, massive, massive post. Um, I'll just go to Link as an example. Uh, we all use Link. Uh, this is uh, very fast. There's lots of examples here. Here's the first ones here, min, min, and min. So uh, let's have a look here. What do we got? So .NET 6 min is 26 uh, nanoseconds, .NET 7 is 4. So you can see that's a lot faster. Max, um, 25 down to 4. So these are massive improvements. There's a lot of examples here. Uh, you can have a look at the code, run it yourself if you wanted to and, and see the performance. But this, these numbers are phenomenal. Okay. Now, on that, um, there is a super, super uh, cool guy. His name's Nick Chappis. And uh, I'll just play you just one minute. He talks about the performance boost. And uh, let's have a look at this. What I want to do. Now, this class will run four benchmarks per runtime, so eight results in the end. So let's go ahead and run that and see how .NET 6 performance and .NET 7 performance for the exact same code compares. All right, so results are back. And let's see what we have here. So these are the .NET 6 numbers and these are the .NET 7 numbers. Now, a few very interesting things. First, the new ones, the .NET 7 ones, are incredibly fast. 9 nanoseconds from 317. 8 from 300, basically. 13 and 27 for average and sum. 
That is nuts. This is not performance you'd expect. And also, zero memory allocations. Huh? How? Well, I'll show you how, but before you start... All right, I'm not going to play the whole video, but you can see he's going to explain how. And um, Nick Chapp is uh, he's a great guy. In fact, he's speaking at NDC uh, Sydney. So if you want to see him in person, you can come to NDC Sydney. Uh, yeah, so uh, he's excellent. And, but that just shows you how good this .NET version is. Next piece of news, um, uh, Richard Campbell and Carl Franklin have been doing .NET rocks for 20 years. Uh, I thought I was very surprised when I noticed that. Um, in fact, I was just with Richard this weekend. He's from Canadian, but we went up to Troy Hunt's wedding and he's still doing this every week. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Anyway, the next news. So uh, GitHub issues. So GitHub issues keeps getting more mature. This is like the Azure DevOps work items. We now have new features coming. You can see you can auto hide certain columns. If you don't want to see the done column, you could hide that or uh, the backlog columns. Um, you could, what else have we got? We got the item number. See the little uh, hash 811 here? So they've added the, uh, the number there. That's uh, always handy just to refer the number. Uh, what else have we got here? Enterprise visibility. Uh, you, can, you can now uh, disable this feature if you want it. So this is probably uh, big enterprises are saying this is getting too good and our users are using it. We don't want them to use it. Uh, they must stay on JIRA or some other reason, but they've now got the ability to turn it off. All right. So what else? GitHub Actions, okay, which we're going to talk more about tonight. GitHub Actions, what do we got here? Well, we've got improved GitHub host runners. Okay, we're now offering better performance. So if you're not happy with the build times you've got, let's, uh, let's zoom into here, you will see... Uh, like by default, I believe you get uh, four cores and 16 gig of RAM. Am I close? I get two cores and seven. <laughs> I get two cores and seven gig of RAM. That's a, a weird number, but that's by default. And if I'm not happy with the performance, I get more. Okay, I can pay for more. So that's the feature. Pay for more and get faster. Now. Um, Matt will talk about this more, but we have a lot of uh, projects running on GitHub Actions. Um, the slow ones take 10 minutes. If that's too long, you, can, uh, you could optimize that and pay for it. Oh, this is a good one. All right, uh, Terraform. So if I was just to uh, just give you a little bit of context, uh, rules, um, bicep, we have a rule on bicep. So this one uh, is an oldie but a goodie, actually, coincidentally, written by Matt Wicks as well. So uh, we, this rule says don't create um, your uh, Azure resources manually. Instead, you could use Pharma, but that is now not the solution anymore. Uh, and the recommended solution now is Bicep. Now, Bicep is nice and free, and we use it on a lot of projects, but uh, there are other ones out there. You can pay for great solutions like Terraform or Pulumi. Now, Terraform uh, does not have all the languages that Pulumi supports. So if you want to do something in C Sharp or, or TypeScript or Python, or, or you might use Pulumi and have it deploying to Azure and AWS at the same time. Uh, now, Terraform does not have those languages, right? Wrong. Let me just close that. There is an update. So now uh, you can have a look at this video if you want, but basically you could do this in any way you want. So it's, it's telling you uh, use TypeScript or Python or Java or C Sharp or Go, whatever you want. Um, it's good to go. So that is a big hole and that's big news uh, in the DevOps story if you want to use Terraform. Next piece of news. All right, here's a good one. All right, my favorite conference, NDC. Uh, we did NDC Melbourne not long ago. Uh, NDC Oslo is running right now. Um, and I love NDC Oslo. We, well, we just talked about Nick Chappas. He'll be here. A whole bunch of other speakers will be here. Um, Steve, Steve Sanderson. If you want to know more about Blazor, then you want to talk to the architect of Blazor. There's Troy Hunt. Um, there's, there's lots of great speakers here. Jo Joseph Al-Bahari is phenomenal. All these people are phenomenal. 
All right, even our own uh, Jason Taylor, etc. Oh, there's JK too. So lots of lots of good things. Now, what I do want to mention is we have a free ticket uh, to NDC Sydney tonight, and uh, I am going to get Matt Wicks to give that ticket away, and I'm going to get him to choose the best question that he gets during his session. So stay for his session. That's that's good incentive. I know there's a uh, uh, a number of people in the different um, offices in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. Uh, also, the online people, you're included too. So ask lots of cool questions and we'll find out what the coolest question is. Uh, this conference costs money. It's in person. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you could go to uh, San Francisco. Let me just check the dates here. We have, uh, that's in October. And this one is a month later in November. Now, this is all about GitHub. If you like the content that you get tonight, you could go to um, San Francisco and attend, or you could just attend online. So uh, GitHub Universe, a great event. So uh, consider doing that. One more thing. Um, we now have a .NET Conf coming up also in November uh, 8th to 10th, and that is 9th. Uh, obviously, the GitHub team, the GitHub events team, and the .NET team don't talk very much because they're making their events on the exact same days. Uh, that's crazy. But here we have .NET 7 launch. So this is all online. It's free. Uh, it's great. All right? Awesome. Next piece of news. What do we have from Apple? We have the iPhone 14. Who needs that? Who needs it? I do. I'll tell you why. I don't know if it's a good reason. But I have a thing in my car that needs the MagSafe. So I have not been able to stick my phone there like other people that uh, have MagSafe. So I'm getting it for that one reason, uh, MagSafe. But I know most people will buy it because the camera is friggin' awesome. Uh, of course, the Apple Watch is better and the AirPod Pro is better. I use my AirPods every day. I think they're awesome. So there you go, lots of, uh, lots of stuff there. Now this is something cool, and when you see this, you'll wonder, why didn't we have this forever? So it's a little power, power tool, Power Toys OCR tool. So what happens is when you install this little app and you see anything in any image, sc screenshot it and paste it, and it'll paste the text. So it just does automatic OCR in this Power Toys. So very, very cool, okay? Next piece of news, Elon Musk. He is, we've talked about this in prior months. Why the hell was he buying it? We're all confused. Uh, but anyway, he wanted to buy Twitter. Seems like he doesn't like the deal anymore and doesn't want to buy it anymore. Um, he says it's about bots. And there was a number of, um, uh, there was this whistleblower that came out and uh, was inside Twitter. And he said uh, a whole lot of negative things about Twitter. Uh, Elon Musk, and there was a judgment saying he was allowed to use that stuff in his court case, and he wants to get out of paying his $44 billion. So, uh, I don't think he'll get out of it. That's my prediction. Um, I'll be shocked. But anyway, he's going to try. Next piece of news. I like to finish on something fun. So, this is a bit of fun. Microsoft Defender issued an alert saying that uh, Google Chrome was a virus. Microsoft Edge was a virus, Discord was a virus, all these Electron apps. It has been fixed, it didn't last for too long, but it was very funny to find out that you have a virus on your machine because you have Chrome. And the last piece of news, I should have, uh, I should have brought this up uh, last month, but there, when you're using Teams, if you've ever wanted to show someone what you're talking about, you can go to the top of your screen Click the little thing, let's have a look. Click this little thing and draw something on your screen to highlight what you're talking about. It's very handy. How many times do you say, no, over there, up there, no, down, you know, there you go. So that's excellent. Or you can give a thumbs up or a star if, they like, if you like certain things. This is um, very good. So it makes your team's uh, meetings more efficient. So uh, there's the tech news. Um, if you want to know uh, more, you will see a whole bunch of good sessions on our uh, SSW TV channel. Um, and there's lots. This session will go up. Matt's session will go up. There's heaps and heaps of good stuff up there. So um, with that, 
I'm going to hand over with to Matt, and that is the SSW Tech News. Cheers.